College Basketball Selection Sunday is this upcoming weekend. Here to preview what to expect for our teams of note is local bracketologist Shelby Mass of USA Today. Shelby, I want to start uh, with a little game here. Let's say the NCAA comes to its senses and allows SMU to compete in the tournament. What seed would they be? Uh, I tracked them for several weeks into the season into conference play. Uh, they have the look and feel and resume to me of a five to six seed in that range. The rest of their conference is not horrible, but not great. And that brings them down a little bit. Five to six seed thereabouts. Yeah. Do you feel like uh, the conference tournament would have given them an opportunity to improve that at all? Or it's pretty much what they would I be? I think that's pretty much where they would be. OK, well, let's talk about the teams now that are actually going to be playing in uh, okay. mid-March. Texas A&M wins the SEC, but you only have them as a five seed thereabouts. Is the league that bad? Did the rough stretch they had in the middle of the season really ruin them? Talk about it. That, that rough stretch they had, they lost four or five uh, out of six, I think. They, uh, that hurt them. They, uh, I think they can get back up to the four line uh, with a nice run in the SEC tournament, but that's, they need teams above them as well to lose. But as for the conference, I mean, at one point late in the year, only Kentucky was a ranked team in the top mm -hmm. 25. I mean, is something going on with this league that is, is really ruining a ms chances and perhaps Kentucky's chances as well? Yeah, this league has been somewhat weak in basketball for the past few years, not getting the same amount of teams as the bigger ACC, the Big East, Pac-12, Big 12, those teams always get more of the SEC. I don't know if it's that they focus on football so much that the basketball <laughs> just doesn't do it, but uh, the basketball uh, as a whole has been weaker, but expect them to get better. They've got a lot of good new coaches in there, a lot of name coaches. Uh, I expect within two years, there'll be a six to seven bid league. So let's move on now to the Big 12. Seven schools likely making it. Let's go lightning round here. I'll name a school and you tell me what they can get, perhaps the highest seed and the lowest seed. Okay. So we'll start with Texas. Texas, I think they could, if they won the Big 12 tournament, they would have an outside shot at a three. They've got a great resume. I don't think they will get there. They, they're in that five to six range, I think. That would be an incredible, yes. incredible run by yes. Texas to get a three seed from where they started. Yeah, it would be. And I, I, Shaka Smart has done a fantastic job. He's ahead of schedule. Uh, I don't know what his schedule was, but I don't think anybody expected them to be this good this year. How about Oklahoma? Oklahoma's got a shot for a one seed. I think they got to get to the finals of the Big 12, losing to Kansas, and hope for other teams to lose as well. Baylor. Baylor's going to be in that five to six range with a run and a title, maybe a four seed. Texas Tech. Texas Tech, I've got them at a seven. I, I feel pretty confident that's, unless they won the Big 12 tournament, they could get up to a five probably, but I think seven's a good for them. Seven is very comfortable as well. I it mean, is. a lot of people still think Tech is on the bubble, but you say no, seven is pretty solid. I will be surprised if they don't make it. And how about Kansas? Kansas is the number one overall team. They're my, they are the top, a top seed uh, with a win this week. One win will lock them as uh, overall number one seed. But if they do have that first round defeat, it makes things tenuous just a little bit. They'll still be on the one line, but as far as being the overall number one, but the way the regions break down and the committee spreads these team out, it, it won't matter. They'll be where they need to be. 70% of the Big 12 will be in the NCAA tournament. How good is this league this, historically? This league is uh, unbelievably fantastic this year. I mean, TCU is at the bottom of the league and they had some good wins. Put them in the SEC and, and they're competing Probably on the bubble. I believe they had a win against uh, Texas. Uh, yes, they did. This season. yes, they did. Local bracketologist Shelby Mass of USA Today and so many other endeavors. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, good luck to uh, the Lancaster Tiger basketball team and the Soda Eagles. They venture to state this weekend. We got to get a little high school uh, fun in there, right? Absolutely, yeah. Sure. Yeah, a lot of a lot of good teams out in the Metroplex this year. Yes, there sure. is. And I'm Edward E. Gross, Fox Sports Sports.